Good evening and welcome to Ending the Day with God on Friday the 21st of July. We opened tonight's time of prayer with a piece of music entitled Stars by Eric's Eschenwalds. This evening may be holy, good and peaceful. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise now and forever. Amen. Tonight's reading from the book of Genesis, chapter 41, continues our theme of summer. The seven years of plenty that prevailed in the land of Egypt came to an end, and the seven years of famine began to come, just as Joseph had said. There was famine in every country, but throughout the land of Egypt there was bread. When all the land of Egypt was famished, the people cried to Pharaoh for bread. Pharaoh said to all the Egyptians, Go to Joseph, and what he says to you, do. And since the famine had spread over all the land, Joseph opened all the storehouses and sold to the Egyptians for the famine was severe in the land of Egypt. Moreover, all the world came to Joseph in Egypt to buy grain, because the famine became severe throughout the world. Thanks be to God. And now this evening's reflection. A report from Oxfam in 2021 said that 11 people in the world were dying of hunger every minute. More than 150 million were living in crisis levels of food insecurity, with climate change and the Covid pandemic pushing food prices to new highs. The worst hunger spots were war-torn countries, including Afghanistan, South Sudan, Syria and Yemen. But there is no doubt that global warming is becoming a deadly contributor to severe food shortage. In the characteristic biblical doctrine of divine providence, Egypt's seven years of plenty and seven years of famine were of God's doing. God, who controls the forces of nature, can withdraw the fruits of nature, presumably in this instance, to bring Joseph's brothers to Egypt. Today we accept that our actions have consequences, including the way we have mistreated our planet. We also acknowledge the terrible injustice of climate change, which is that among the nations suffering most from its effects are those that have caused it the least. It is hardly newsworthy anymore that global heat records are being broken annually, causing natural disasters. Droughts, heat waves, fires and floods are all killer events in their own right, not just for humans, but also for many animals. But climate change is also making it even harder to feed the world. The injustice must be ended. Our theme tonight is hotter summers, so now we pray. Father, we pray tonight for those we love, for our friends and our neighbours, 
We thank you for the food we eat, for the contents of our fridges and larders. And we pray for the work of aid agencies, labouring to bring famine relief. We pray that God in his great goodness may feed the hungry. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We join together now in the Lord's Prayer, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Abide with us, Lord, for it is evening and the day is drawing to a close. Abide with us and with your whole church in the evening of the day, in the evening of life, in the evening of the world. Abide with us and with all your faithful ones, O Lord, in time and in eternity. Amen. Christ our shield, our encircler, each day, each night, in light, in dark, my treasure, my dear one. The almighty and merciful three encircle us that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Amen. <laughs> 